Hey, shawty wanna wet it rain, ride her down my everything I'm a hit of terror, got me serving through the end away from the past Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make that insane prequel effect that you just saw in the beginning of this video inside of Premiere Pro. So yeah, let's start the video. So after you click the uh, preset link, it'll lead you to this mega file right here. So this is the preset. So just right click, click on download and click on standard download or download as zip. Just download it any way you like. And then here's the sound effects. I gave you three sound effects. You can use any sound effects you like. If not, you can use your custom sound effects. And here's the clips plus project file. I will be at the clip and the project file later on. And yeah. So just download the preset. After you download the preset, open up your Premiere Pro. And then go to effects. And you need to right click on your preset spin. Click on import presets. And you're gonna select my preset. It's called uh, Insane Prequel Effect. You just wanna select that. Uh, preset you click on open and you should be opened up in your effect step and just search up as pre-kill and it should pop right here okay so let's see how to add this so first i'm gonna show you how to do the velocity so just find the frame where you pull the shotgun so it's right around here so i'm just gonna select this frame you're gonna cut it right there and cut on the frame where you get the kill so it's right around here you're gonna cut it right there and then we can right click on this clip click on show clip keyframes time ramping enable speed go to the beginning keyframe it right there sorry guys now go to the beginning keyframe it right there and then you wanna uh, decrease the speed of that to like 30 percent just like so and then you wanna find the frame something like this maybe yeah so just find the frame like this you wanna again keyframe it and simply just increase this to around 300 and put the other clip like that also enable time mapping on the other part of the clip go to the beginning keyframe it right there also increase the speed to 300% so just like so and go like five frames forward and decrease the speed to around 35 just like so and now you can delete the audio because actually we don't need them and yeah now you have the uh, slow motion done and then we can apply the preset so right click and it's the clip so after you nest the clip you wanna select this clip hold alt and drag that up and then you just wanna drag and drop the after nest uh, drop track to this nested sequence and after that you wanna right click on this click on nest click ok put the after nest top track to the top clip and put the bottom track effects to the bottom track and then you can put the impact uh, to this other part right here and then you will be good to go and then you can go somewhere right here click i go to the end click o click on sequence click on render into out and you can play this effect smoothly and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the video and thank you so much for watching this video until the end and if you have any video suggestions please be sure to comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video peace